My friend just shared a meme with me and it was funny. <laughs> um, today is a wonderful day. I hope you guys are feeling the same way or can convince yourself. You know, one of my favorite things to say when people ask me how I am, regardless of how I am, is I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream and people are always like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, you're lying to yourself or oh really? And it's funny because my dream does entail lots of glam, no limitations, always having resources and connections. And I'm on my way. I'm not necessarily there. I'm not um, Miss Moneybags today. And my dream is to, you know, be on the Forbes list. But starting where I'm at is a part of my dream. And so I am living the dream because I started. I started working on my dream. And good days or bad days, they're all a part of the dream. And one thing that's also part of my dream is self-made, you know, zero to 100 type thing. And even if I am at zero, I am still a part of my dream, living my dream. Um, I don't know if that is something everybody can say, but I think if you have started your dream and are working towards it, that's something you can say or should say. Because saying, Ugh, I'm having a bad day, you don't want to put that energy out there. I'm having a great day. I mean, if you're not, don't lie. You don't have to lie. But good days or bad days, if you're working towards the dream, you're, you're living the dream. Anyways, today I wanted to talk to y'all about supporting and celebrating your friends. I am so thankful and so grateful for all of my friends, all of the people who have been there for me, um, who have supported me. I love when she does this, I'll have to show you. Look, she's a funny girl. Oh, no. Hey, you're a punk. You know that? You punk. She's one of my best friends, but I tell her I love her every day. Anyways, so so many of us have friends, and we're seeing them live their dreams. I know you see me live my dream every day. You'll live your best life in 10 minutes. Um, all right, so we're, we're watching our friends live their best lives. Or trying to and some of them are meeting their goals some of them are succeeding and I think it's really important to be able to clap for them and tell them how proud you are of them and you know as their friend you should know their dreams you should be supporting them saying you can do it because you need to hear that as well one thing I'm learning is you need to give what you want to get. You know, if you need a hug, oftentimes you need to go get it. If you need a nice, uplifting conversation, you need to start it. And you need to show your friends how to clap for you by clapping for them, saying, yes, queen, when they finally do something towards their dream. And I know sometimes some of us struggle because we're not at that point. Sometimes it's hard for us to see our friends succeed and succeed, and we're like, what? Where's mine? This is hard for me to clap right now. But don't, don't, just know this. You are the average of your five friends. And when your friends are succeeding, 
even though you may not feel it because you see your every day, you are starting to succeed as well. Your life is going to get better if the people around you's lives are getting better. And use that as motivation. You know, when your friends are starting to move up, level up. Don't think, oh, they're going to leave me behind. Think, yes, we are going up. And what can I do to keep going up with them? What can I do to keep hanging out with them? You know, use it as motivation. Like, oh, my friends are inspiring. My friends are motivating. And, you know, one thing I'm working on right now is jealousy, I guess. No one ever wants to own that shit, and it pisses me off because we can never really have a healthy conversation about it. But when I see other people living their best life, you know, the type of life that I think I should be living, sometimes it's hard for me. I'm like, damn. Like, why am I struggling right now, standing for 10 hours, saying dance, like people are yelling dance like a monkey, and I got to breathe secondhand smoke. No one gives a fuck about me when all of these people are on yachts and having sun-kissed skin with anything they want to eat and the freshest fruits and veggies. <laughs> I've been there. But then I'm like, no, 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 because that's not a good feeling to have. It's not a good feeling to like be comparing yourself and why do they have and I don't have. And I know it, sometimes we do that more with strangers than we do with our friends, but I know some to do, do that with their friends. I probably have, I do, maybe. Yes, I'm gonna own it, even if it was in the past or today, I do. Um, stop comparing yourself to your friends, you know? See it as a dream board or a goal board instead. Like, oh, one day I'm gonna be on a yacht. One day I'm gonna be at the fashion show things, runways. <laughs> um, I don't even know my dreams right now. You know, one day I will have garden with the freshest fruits and veggies and have somebody to cook it for me. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the best cook. <laughs> okay, you gotta stop that bullshit. Hello girl, hello girl. Harassing me. But, um, yeah, that's a better mindset to be inspired. Like, that's for me. Say it. It's for me. Oh, that's for me. One day, today, dream it. Live it in your head, you know, however you can experience it. But get out of that, Ugh, they have what I want. Like, no, you can still want it and you can have it. Like, you know, one of my favorite sayings is another person's beauty isn't a lack of your own. You know, somebody can have money and you can get money too. Somebody can have an awesome experience in their life and you can have awesome experiences too. And you know, sometimes you have to see something to know that you want it. You know, if you always lived by the ocean and didn't have any connection to anything else, didn't know the outside world, how would you know what snowboarding is? On a mountain you're like oh I only know water but if you saw or were introduced some way a picture or social media TV a book I don't know that there's snowboarding out there then you know oh that's some that sounds like snow surfing I want to try that that's my new frontier Sometimes you gotta be inspired by things. And maybe the world is just inspiring you, not tormenting you and teasing you like you can't have this. I don't, okay, I waved. Hey, thanks for watching me. You know, just like I said, stay in that positive mindset. Don't, don't worry about the hate. Don't focus on hate. You know, it, and also, like, if you're seeing your friends around you going up and you want to go up, like I said, ask them, what is it that you're doing? You know, like, ask, get, get support by starting the conversation. Or also, here's another thing I was thinking about. If you're moving up, 
and you're noticing that your friends can't clap for you, one, I mean, don't drop them right away. Maybe ask them what's going on in their life. Be a good friend. And see what their goals are and start clapping for them. Show them, show them how to love you. But if they're still being nasty and toxic, I say cut them. Like, you don't have to share all of your best things with this person if they can't be happy for you. And I, I notice it sometimes when I have conversation with friends. I'm like, I have all these awesome things happening for me. And they're like, mm. Ooh, don't be like that. Don't be like that because there's going to be amazing things happen for you. And my dreams aren't your dreams. And me having a good day should only let you have a good day too. Like that energy should just continue on, not put you in a bad mood because you're comparing yourself to me. Or the other way around. Let's start celebrating each other more, clapping for each other more. You know, if you need love, give love. If you need support, support. You know, use people as motivation and inspiration instead of a way to compare yourself. You know, they say, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, man. We can all have our dreams. And I personally think that nobody's dream is the same. I read something a while back that was like, if we all had the option to have anything we want, wear anything we want, without the fear of being judged by anybody, and know that we'll always be happy, you'd be surprised we're not always going to pick the same thing. Because we don't all have the same hearts. We don't all have the same minds and the same bodies. Or the same experiences. So be happy for other people's happiness. It is good for you. I um, asked a lady a while back, what, what is, um, she was beautiful, beautiful, and then something came up and she was like 60 and I, I would have thought she would, was probably just entering her 30s. And she was like, don't be jealous. Jealousy will kill you. Jealousy is cancer, jealousy is toxic. And it's funny because, again, like I said, no one ever talks about jealousy. No one ever wants to own that. But I think you got to own it so you can move forward. Like, oh, I see that because I think that if they have it, I can't have it. But that's not true. Shake it. It's just inspiration. If you see a bomb-looking woman and you are like, I wish I was her, don't think like that. Think, wow, that's inspiration to work on my booty. You know, I wonder how she eats. If she has a healthy diet, maybe you could be like, maybe I'll, I should use that as inspiration because I know that if I change my diet to be like that, maybe my skin will look more like hers. But not, ugh, I hate her because she's prettier than me. I don't know what the fuck that is. You know, you are probably gorgeous too. You just don't see it because you are yourself. You see your flaws. So here's the other thing. If you start learning how to build up your friends and complimenting your friends, they'll start learning how to compliment you back. And I see it at work. You know, I work with tons of girls, and they're all beautiful, and they're all awesome, and I love them. And I come in, and, you know, we all give each other our little compliments and build each other up. And sometimes they see things in us that we don't see in ourselves, and it feels good. So, like I said, learn how to celebrate and support your friends. Drop that jealous shit and use that as inspiration. Daily dream boards. You know, one of my favorite things is to like everything on Instagram. Like, I realize that people post for likes. I realize that it feels good when people get likes. And if you post something, we have this thing where we want likes. So I'm gonna support you. I I'm gonna like your shit. 
I'm gonna like everything that I like. You know, I know some people are stingy out there because I don't know why. I don't know why you can't support your people. Like you see it, you like it, and then you scroll past it and it's like, no, you didn't actually like double tap, heart, heart it. Like I'm about it. And me, I think I have like a cramp in my thumb at the end of scrolling through Instagram because I've double tapped almost everything. And if I'm on Instagram and I see a picture, you best believe I'm gonna double tap it. Unless I don't fuck with it. But how are you gonna know that, you know, I don't fuck with it or I haven't seen it? But if I seen it, I'ma like it because I fuck with you. And I want you to feel my love, even if it's just through a double tap. And I hate that that's how we feel love. But since that is, I'ma support you and I'ma double tap it. Anyways, I told this girl that we could go to the park and she's been harassing me. So I'm gonna take her while the sun's still shining. Oh, look at my beautiful garden. Did I taunt you with the fact that I have lettuce and nobody else does? And it looks so good. I cannot wait to eat it. It's like any day now. Any day now. I probably could eat it now, but I'm just letting it get big. Ooh. Sorry, I had to brag a little bit, but I don't know. It makes me feel good. <laughs> I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Like I said, convince yourself some way, somehow to get into that wonderful day mindset, whatever you can. Like if you can just think of the things that you are grateful for, even if you're having a shitty day, think I'm living the dream. You know, get out of that nasty, like, ugh, fuck. Like you can be in control of you. Do it. And you can start taking control of your environment by showing people how to treat you how to love and celebrate and support you and wanting nothing less, having standards and settling for nothing less, cutting toxic people out. Celebrating yourself. I love you, whoever Kinky Pink is. Thank you. Um, anyways, you deserve to have a wonderful day. So have it and you'll like rub off on your friends and then they can rub off on you when you need it. That's the other thing I love is when you teach your friends how to love you and you love them on their bad days, they can lean on you when they're having a bad day. But then when you're having a bad day, you'll have somebody to lean on because you showed them how to love you. You know, that song, lean on me way you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. I know I sing this a lot, but I think it's big. You know, loving and supporting each other. It does start with loving yourself, but it, it gets contagious and you can give it to all your friends. That sounds really bad, but it's good. Anyways, like I said, I love you all. I hope you have a bomb day. I'm just starting mine, but I demand it to be wonderful and I will accept no less. And like I said, people try to come to you with bullshit and I'm just like, reject. I vibrate so high that like, I understand what's going on in your life. I send love your way, but not interested. I'm having a bomb day and I'm in control and this is my world and y'all just live in it. And to me, I'm queen growing to be goddess so you know i say in my world not you <laughs> i don't know i have this crazy mind but it works for me like i said i love you guys but i'll love you and love you and love you again because i have lots of love to give i am the sun um bye <laughs>